Brown. Steve runs a company called Brown Support. A consultant for, he's also a consultant for small businesses and family to save and earn. He's a co-founder of the Butler County Movie Club and a father of a wonderful girl and a lively son. The girl is 18, the son is 15, so we know he's getting tested through and through. He's also on speech number seven tonight, and it is the top five tax deductions for a home-based business. With that, let's give Mr. Steve Brown a big, or a big round of applause. I'm going to move this also. I want to make sure that we're not distracted. It's, it's so funny how often our speeches coincide with each other. We don't plan it, it just, who knows what the plane is from. That being said, so many of us that are working in the, uh, the, the corporate field, where you see the people who are totally detached, who have given up and not wanting to do certain things, and not wanting to be passionate about what they have. I think a lot of that has to do with they have to believe in what they do. And I think sometimes you got to have an outlet for it. But at the same time, I remember what Frank did a couple of weeks ago. And he gave a speech on how to save money and how saving money is so important. And it is. I truly believe it is. But at the same time, I also like to follow uh, certain things. And currently, there are 38 million home based businesses. Now, 44% of them will start for less than $5,000. And the motivation for these home-based businesses can be anywhere from wanting to get out of that corporate life. People who just need that extra income because, sadly, even if you've got a the wife and, and husband are both working, you're still seeing situations where it's still not enough. I know that as I was growing up, my mother worked as a librarian. She worked at a fast food restaurant. She worked, eventually she did become an entrepreneur. But my father also worked for the state at the employment office downtown in Baltimore. But even with that going on, for us to pay or for them to provide a vacation every year for us, Dad had to do other things. Dad is one of the, and I will be bragging, one of the best sign painters in this area, Morgantown, Ohio County, Baltimore. Um, and because of that, he was able to pay for extra things. He was able to give a little bit more to his family that may not have been able to do because he had a home-based business. It's kind of funny we joke about that, but he didn't like, or I mean, he wasn't passionate. He didn't love everything he did. He worked for the state. I and mean, you hear all kinds of horror stories about who worked for the state. So 70% of Americans right now would rather be self-employed than work for someone else. And he would have. He would have rather painted signs on that. Now, whatever that living factor was, he didn't follow that, but he did retire from the state. And Dave Ramsey, of course, everybody, most everyone knows Dave Ramsey uh, for his uh, economic and financial advice. And he says the worst thing we can do is get a second job. The best thing we can do is start a home-based business. One of the reasons for that are the tax deductions. I'm a huge believer, and the first one on this one, mileage and vehicle maintenance. Obviously, if you have a job, you go to that job, and if you get there, the company doesn't care how you get there. But if you have a home-based business, because of that home-based business, you've got certain deductions. And one of my favorite, personally, is the mileage. Now, you'll notice 1237.4. Now, that's mine. That is the trip mileage that I did for the last convention that my girlfriend and I went to in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, for the home, day, home business that, that we followed. We went down for training, we went down for the convention itself, meeting our team, meeting with our co workers, and of course, just getting out. And I've also found, and this, you know, this is all based on IRS.gov, and those, uh, <laughs> the, uh, uh, I found that when I go to work, here, camping world. When I leave there and I go and I meet with a client, everything from camping world all the way to back home counts as my mileage, so I can do that. 
Now, in IRS.gov, they will explain that your mileage compared to your vehicle maintenance are two different things. You have to choose one or the other. You cannot do both, but you must choose one or the other. I personally love mileage. <coughs> 1,237, you know, they add up pretty quick, that's all I might be better. Number two, travel-related expenditures. Same thing. I went to Fort Lauderdale, we had motels, we had food. Food is 50%, motels are 100%. Now that also count again. If you do mileage, you can't count for gas, but your traveling does relate. Now you'll notice I have a picture of the Mirage. I will be there in three weeks. From the 19th to the 23rd, I will be there for another convention that I'm going to that is taking place. Uh, it is a training convention, and the great thing about the travel expenditures, you go, you meet with people. I've got two new clients that I'm talking with. I've got uh, some other people that are meeting us after the convention itself to expand and, and work with them on the business. But they don't care that I'm going to Las Vegas. They don't say, okay, you spent this many hours. No, I'm going there for the business. I get to do it. If I'm playing poker on the side, you know, that's a little fringe benefit. Now, personal insurance and social security. Now, this one is one that I always prefix with, you definitely need to talk with your accountant on this one. The main reason is, you know, there are a lot of stipulations with it, but because of the way it's built, if you are a sole, primary, home business-based company, your personal insurance and social security are tax deductible. Number four, computers and equipment. Now, I'm lumped that in together with all the technology. Everybody nowadays, if you're doing whatever job you have, you don't have tech going with it. You don't have a laptop. You don't have a, an iPad. You don't have a cell phone. And your cell phone bill goes in there too. Now, obviously, if you've got a cell phone, you got one cell phone, you're looking about maybe 50 50 for personal compared to business. So, you don't want to say it's 100% business and then you're making phone calls to your mom all the time. Well, she's a business partner, but you know, that goes in there too. So, again, you want to be sure to track everything. Now, number five, same thing with the convention I'm going to. That's training. I'm going to be buying training manuals. I do, I consider, and according to my accountant, he agrees on it too, John Maxwell classes for tax deductions. The books that I spend, that I buy, and spend money on when I give my when I do my consultants, I give them books to help them to expand on what I've taught them. So all of that are materials that I can uh, hand out to share with people and to help them grow also. Now just some general advice. Now jump everything. Keep every receipt. Even if it's too much, you've got to have too much than not enough. Because at the end of the year, when you're filling out your forms, and your accountant goes, wait, you mentioned this one, but you don't have, account, don't have a receipt for it. Okay, but if you get audited at any point in the next three to five years, you, know, you definitely want to be sure to have it. Uh, use an account. That, that is also a tax deduction. Uh, so be sure you want to have that second opinion. You've got to have that second opinion. You want somebody to fall back on the company. Uh, number three, remember, anything legitimately not into this can be a tax deduction. And again, I say it, always use an account. This is important. I'm not a tax expert. They are. You want to second anything that I've said with them. You want to get their opinion. You want to get what they hear to say. So if you don't build your dream, someone else will hire you to help build theirs. I, I'm a true, firm, huge believer in having a home-based business at the very least if you work for anybody else. Because of the extra tax benefits, the extra tax deductions, what it can get for you and your family. As Jim Rohn said, if we work for someone else, then we are living for wages. If we work for ourselves, we are building for it. And that's what you should be asking for everybody here. I think we're all here to expand ourselves and become better people. And these are definitely some ideas to hopefully get you thinking. Thank you all very much and have a great evening. <laughs> I have receipts. <laughs>